How to put on a sari. Step one, drape the largest piece of cloth you can find. Make sure it is colorful. You are always colorful. Use a tablecloth. Drape the yellow mustard dal, coconut sambal as fringing. Flavors like these make colors like you easier to digest. Step two, fold the fabric into straight pleats. Stay in line. Remember your father's family had to prove the percentage of European heritage to come to this country, so stay in line. The white Australia policy had ended, but the white language policy lives on. Stay in line. It is unspoken. My father barely speaks singular. Coming with his white-ish passing family with their white-sounding names, my father would shake his head no to say yes. Stay in line. Sri Lankan burgers sound a British articulation from drinking colonized cups of tea. Stay in line. My father is always proving his loyalty to here. Immigrants must always keep proving their loyalty to here. Step three. Stand tall and drape the fabric at your navel. Your stomach churns with the guilt of your privilege. Sri Lankan burgers were second in charge to the colonizer. You hold this. Your pure blood, Lankan friend, tells you you were not Lankan in her eyes. That this technically Eurasian blend is hard for her to swallow. But the compilation of Scottish, Portuguese, Dutch, and Swiss traces so far back, it does not register in this. So let let me drape the layers of my lineage around me and know that this belly will carry babies who are rightfully Lunken also. Digest down these declarations like Dahl. Step four. If ever you figure out those goddamn please drape the pallu over your shoulder. Wear it like a sash, feel it like a blanket that cradles you home. You will not wear it often. But when you do, it will remind you of string hoppers and vadis. It will remind you of when you climbed Sigiria Rock. So the petty had a parade in candy when the locals at the Hivala Zoo saw your blue hair and took photos of you. The man in the mansion in the mountains recognizes your family name. Tells you he knows your grandfather. You smile. You may never learn how to correctly drape a sari, but like the rivers that flow through highlands. These colors and this culture will always flow through.